Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Qin Feng," 黄鸟 a Qin Wind from the Book of Songs. The Chinese classic poetry means to record to record the situation, a story. In Chinese, 诗言志 So that's the basic rules and logic for the. Chinese classic poetry, but most of the poems in the Book of Songs is hard to pinpoint to a real historical events, a time, a time, a period. And、uh, the poem today we have today is the. Feel or maybe the only poem could be pinpoint to a very exactly historical events, a year. So this poem is about the funeral of Qin Mu Gong in the year six hundred twenty one B.C. and、uh, it described the condolence to the. Passed away, state lord Qin Mu Gong. But furthermore, it expressed the condolence and the sadness for the people who sacrificed themselves and buried with the Qin Lord. The human sacrifice is popular. Or maybe everywhere around the globe in the ancient time, and in the Old Testament, the Abraham was asked to sacrifice his son. Even though it was just a test, but it's also reflected that the human sacrifice is a normal practice in those days, and.、Uh, That was in ancient China as well. So before the Zhou Dynasty, the human sacrifice was widely practiced. In the Shang Dynasty, the sacrifice, human sacrifice, is basically is in two ways. First, as a sacrifice to the heaven,、uh, to the god.、Uh, normally, those are the Uh, captures from the walls, and、uh, another way is the human sacrifice to their passed away lord. So those human sacrifice, they suicide themselves with their own wishes, and、uh, then they was buried in the same big tomb of the passed away. Lord or passed away king, and in the Zhou Dynasty, it was not popular, but it was still、uh, practiced everywhere, I guess. But it was not recorded everywhere, and、uh, thus this poem in the Book of Songs basically gave us a very very true and.、Uh, Some sort of the at the sight feelings of this human sacrifice. How the average people, the poet, treat the human sacrifice, and how do they feel about this human sacrifice? And this was even approved by the modern archaeology. A huge. Qin tomb, Qin State Lord tomb, was excavated、uh, some thirty years ago. The excavated takes ten years to fully、uh, explore the huge tomb, the most, the biggest tombs ever. Excavated in the Chinese history.
and、uh, this tomb belongs to the Qin Jing Gong. A state lord passed away roughly eighty years after this poem, and、uh, total one hundred and eighty-six human sacrifice was found in this big tomb of Qin Jing Gong. Twenty was slaughtered, and、uh, some other one hundred sixty-six human sacrifice. They just suicide themselves to follow their passed away state lord. So the believing is the people lead a current life, and after the death they lead another life,、uh, which is quite similar as the、uh, life they had. <laughs> and、uh, those human sacrifice are the citizens. The servants of the state lords—they are faithful, they are loyal to their lord. Thus, they want to follow the state lord to another world, so they can still live together. Per the history record, one hundred and seventy-seven human sacrifice、uh, was with. The Qin Mu Gong, who was describing this poem, among the 177 human sacrifices, three special person, their name was recorded by these poems, and only by this poem we also shared or we can know some feelings who was. In this funeral, and、uh, witness the human sacrifice, the passed away state lord, their coffin, the process of the funerals. So this is all this poem about. So per the history record, the quantity of the human sacrifice in the tomb of Qin Mu Gong is a little bit more than the quantities. In that of the tomb of Qin Jing Gong, which was the most big excavated tombs in the before the Qin Dynasty, and、uh, this also reflected that、uh, the power and the, the、uh, prosperous that Qin Mu Gong brought to the Qin State. It was him that made the Qin State one of the five superpowers in the spring and autumn period, 春秋五霸 Okay, let's look at this very long but very simple poem. 鸠鸠黄鸟，止于己。The oil. Oriole birds, they flying back and forth, and finally they stopped at the thorn bushes. So the oriole, oriole birds is a lovely, colorful birds with very nice sound. And、uh, in the later generations, this bird symbolized the senior. Officers, but it's hard to know when the poet was writing this poem. Is he using the same implication or not? But I would prefer he want to use the oriole birds to、uh, parallel the senior officers, colorful. Standing in a high place with very nice sound, so that's a very typical、uh, characters for the senior officers, and、uh, those birds, a lot of birds, which symbolize the prosperous and the powerful Qin state at the time. Birds, the flock of birds, they finally stopped at the song. 
bushes. Soon, it has shared the same sound of ji, which means hurt, a、uh, uh, illness that hurt. So this could be the second、um, metaphor implication in the in the first sentence. So、uh, if we translate the first sentence with the full implications, it sounds like our powerful, prosperous Qin state are of so many talents and、uh, heroes, but、uh, they flying back and forth, but. But for the time now, they they encounter something really hurt. They stayed at a place hurt. The thorn thorn bushes. Okay, let's continue. 谁从木工子车演习 Who followed our state lord? 木工木工 is the name for the state lord for the time being,、uh, who just passed away, right? Because we are talking about a funeral. That was our best boy, Yan Xi. Yan Xi is the name for that best boy. Zi Che is the family name, and Zi Che. Basically, it's telling us two things: they are the noble family, and、uh, very likely the family was featured with talent of the chariot.、Uh, we have go through some of the Qin wind, and we know it's we know、uh, very clear the best quality or. The Qin people are proud of their horsing and、uh, chariots. So that's the two best,、uh, two most pride、uh, things for the Qin people. And this family, they had the name Zi Che, so they should be the premier, prominent families among the noble. Uh, families in the Qin state. Okay, let's continue. With the Yan Xi, Bai Fu Zhi Te. So only this best boy Yan Xi, he was the most strong and big among hundreds people, hundreds of people. So Bai Fu could be interpreted in two ways. First thing first, one hundred person. Of course,、uh, normally those、uh, persons refers to the citizens or noble peoples. Uh, so uh, the other interpretation is Bai Fu is a, a position's name who、uh, rules over hundreds soldiers in the battlefield.、Uh, so it could be interpreted that we have so many、uh, people. With the title or qualified for the、uh, position by Fu, and、uh, this guy Yan Xi, he is the best among those officers. So、uh, either way, they are、uh, is telling that Yan Xi is the best among the best. Lin Qi Xue, 最最其力 When I facing The tomb of him. I just feel、uh, so dangerous. I'm afraid I'm falling down. I would falling down, and I'm shaking. Zui Zui describe the status、uh, when you stayed when you are standing at a very dangerous high place. You feel you are you are about to fall off, and、uh, and. Either because of the danger you are shaking, li means shaking.、Uh, so just look at the map. This is a sorry the picture. The picture is the excavated tomb of Qin Jing Gong. So this the tomb. This tomb could be paralleled or with the equal、uh, 
standard level、uh, of the Qin Mu Gong, the poem we are talking about. So you can see it's a very, very big, so big and so deep a tool, and all those small wooden boxes are the sacrificed humans, and、uh, Yan Xi was among those. Uh, people, and he was in one of the wooden boxes, and in the center, in the bottom, is the should be the big, giant, coffin of the Qin State Lord Mu Gong. But in this picture, the the big coffin was not there. Only the、uh, small coffin for the sacrificed. Uh, human sacrifice was、uh, showed on the second、uh, level of the platform. Okay, the next sentence: 比苍者天，兼我良人 The sky vast and above. It was him who destroyed our best boy. 良人 normally in the Book of Songs refers to the passed away state lord, and in this poem it was used to call the human sacrifice Yan Xi, and it was a great honor to be called as 良人 So here it's a in the surface it's a blaming to the sky. That the sky was so merciless, and he, the sky, is so bad. It because of the sky,、uh, he he killed our best boy, Yan Xi, and it could also be a indirect way of blaming to the state lord, and、uh, is because of his death. Or maybe because of his ordering, our best boy Yan Xi was killed. It's hard to tell. Actually, nobody knows it.、Uh, so,、uh, in the real situation, it could be the blaming,、uh, finger pointing to the sky, or it could be an indirect finger pointing to the state lord who just passed away. Uh, Qin Mu Gong. Okay, the last sentence in the first paragraph. 如可熟悉，人百七身。If we can have him revived again, we even could afford another one hundred lives for it. So they want to change back his life with another one hundred normal lives. So which Uh, basically expressed the huge loss that Qin people they felt, and the the love they have toward this best boy Yan Xi. The second and the third paragraph are basically repeating the first paragraph. 交交黄鸟，止于桑。They Oriole birds are flying back and forth, and finally they stopped at the mulberry tree. The mulberry tree shares the same sound in Chinese as the lost, the funeral. So here it has a very strong implication that the oriole birds are the senior. Citizens, the senior officers in the Qin State, they are all at this site, the funeral site, uh, beside this huge tomb, and、uh, they are very sad because of the loss, the loss of the state lord, the loss of their best boy, and the、uh, jiao jiao could also be the sound simulation words. To the、uh, singing of the oriole birds, 
so it's hard to tell. Could be、uh, describing the birds flying back and forth, or could、uh, describing the birds was singing. But at the moment, in this very special、uh, time, the sound should be a very sad sound. And、uh, 谁从木工子车种行？ So、who followed our state lord, Mu Gong? It's the our best boy, so-called Zhong Xing. Zhong Xing is the name for the this human sacrifice, the best boy, and、uh, he was also f- from the family Zi Che. So they are from the same family, and in the third paragraph, Zi Che. Zheng Hu, Zheng Hu is the name of this human sacrifice, the third human fa- sacrifice mentioned in the poem, and he was also from the family Zi Che. So all the three best boys are from one family, Zi Che, the family of Zi Che. And let's see how、uh, they describe the boy in the second paragraph. 为此，种行百夫之房。The best boy, 种房。呃、uh, ，sorry, the best boy, 种行。He can compete with hundreds people. 呃、uh, so, ，which means he can compete with hundreds people with his own one person. So the, he's the、uh, best boys in this state, right? And uh, then, uh, the the following sentence is same with the first paragraph, so I won't explain. Now the third paragraph, 娇娇黄鸟止于楚 The oriole birds they are singing sadly, and finally they stopped at the tree of Chu. So we don't know exactly what the Type of tree, it was, but we know some characters of this tree by the character Chu. It's a very big and tall trees. So the first sentence could be exp- explained as the oriole birds or the senior citizens who are at the site. They are witness the funeral. Right now, they are so sad. They are crying, and、uh, their sadness is getting so big and high, like the big tree of Chu. And 谁从木工子车征虎 So the third. Best boy who followed our passed away state lord was so called Zheng Hu, and he was from the same family, the family Zi Che. And、uh, this best boy Zheng Hu, he is the best driver among the hundred drivers. He is the best boy. He is the best of the best. So we know the Qin people,、uh, the most valued skills or characters by the Qin people is archer, archer, archery and uh, uh, chariot. So here he mentioned Zheng Hu is the best drivers of the chariot and.、Uh, Of course, he is the best of the best. So the poems in the whole three paragraphs, he just repeating the same thing. The our best boys, three boys, they are the best of the best. They are the most capable, big, strong boy. He is the be- be- most capable people who can compete with one hundred persons with his himself alone, and we. Uh, Zheng Hu is the best drivers of the, our states, and now 
and today they all followed our passed away state lord and it became the human sacrifice. What a huge sadness! Even it they are they were killed by the sky. We want them、uh, revived again. At the price of three hundred、uh, lives, three an, another three hundred lives to change him to exchange the the three best boys,、uh, revive again. So you can see how how much value the three boys they have,、uh, they mean for this country, and how how big. The sadness the people、uh, have, and how the people love the three best boys. So there could also be another、uh, indirect meaning that the condolence, the sadness. Mainly goes to the state lord, but by writing their sadness, their condolence to the three best boys who followed their state lord, Qin Mu Gong, and、uh, finally it make or it expressed their sadness to the state lord is. Even much, much, much bigger, which could even not, cannot be right down. So there could be another way. It's hard to know, and it could be a blaming to the state lord because he didn't、uh, avoid the our best boys to follow him to another world. It could be a blaming. So the general explanation to this poem、uh, today, they all say they all、uh, said this poem is a blaming poem to the state law. But I have a different opinion. It's really hard to know because that's the、uh, normal situation in those times and those human sacrifice. They, they, they are, they, they have their own will. They are willing. They were willing to sacrifice themselves.、Uh, they want to follow their state lord to another world. And、uh, some one hundred and fifty years later, another state lord of Qin、uh, ordered. To stop these rituals, and、uh, that's why the terracotta warrior、uh, came from. So the terracotta warrior is to replace the human sacrifice and、uh, let the terracotta warrior to serve the passed away king, the passed away empress in a in another life, rather. Uh, by the human sacrifice, so that's the logic of those days. Well, all in all, in this poem, the people, the poet who were still alive, they felt such a tremendous loss. They are so sad toward the people who passed away. No matter the state lord or the 177 human sacrifice, the best boys of the Qin state, but in other way, the people who died, the state lord, the human sacrifice, the best boys, what were they thinking? How they felt? At the moment when they are still alive, might be a mystery forever. Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.